Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to teach your bird to like water. So, if you guys don't know, when I got Gurren, she did not like water. For some reason, I tried multiple ways. She just did not want to have a bath. And after a few weeks of trying different ways, I decided I was going to need to train her. Now, this is how I did it. I'm not saying that this is how you should do it, but as long as your bird's comfortable and it works... I think it's good to go. Okay, first you're going to need some things. So a bird, some sort of stand, or somewhere where your bird can sit. And you're going to need a spray bottle and some treats. So I use seeds. You can also use millet, but I just don't like the idea of millet getting wet. But it'll be fine as long as it doesn't get wet. You can use millet. Now you're going to want to look at locations. So... I did this in the bathroom, and I took Gerwin to my bathroom. Now you're going to want to go somewhere where the floor can get wet or whatever. It can get wet, and it will be fine. And now you're going to want to find your bird's scaredness level. Now, this is just how bad your bird reacts. If your bird is really scared, then you want to start from further away and get closer. If your bird is not that scared, then you're not going to need to start, like, a football field away from your bird so just see how comfortable your bird is you have to read their body language if they're getting really scared then you want to move back now what you're going to do is just spray and then you're going to give your bird a treat you also want to make sure if your bird's really scared that you're spraying in the opposite direction so that the bird doesn't feel like the water is coming towards them you're going to do this over and over and over and over and slowly get closer and closer. Now, make sure that your bird is comfortable the full time. If you find it takes you a very long time to just get a little bit closer, work with it a lot for that day, but don't push it. Because if you push it, you can make them more scared. So, it'll need to go over time. Now, you're going to keep doing this until eventually the water is very close to your bird. Now, I sprayed it slightly away from her. So that it was on her perch, but not going on her. And held the treat out so she had to go under it to get the treat. This is a really good way because you're getting your bird to go under the water. And you're not forcing them. They also know the spray bottle. They know what's going to happen. So I just find it a really good technique. Because you don't want to spray above your bird and then give them a treat. Because that can really scare them. That's why I like this technique. Because they're choosing to go under it. Gerwin wasn't really in the mood for a bath today, but she was perfectly happy to stay there and get seeds. So it's a really good example for if your bird, is, I don't know, has dirt on it for some reason. I don't know. If there's something for some reason you need to wash your bird and your bird doesn't feel like a bath, they're still happy to stick around for some treats. So, yeah. Yay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped you find a way to teach your bird to like water so that they can have baths and be as floofy as Gerwin. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.